Now you can see, if I run this code again, the pointer is a bit jerky, as you can see. It's very bouncy, up and down like so. This is where we're going to actually use the second pointer as well to create a round. So all that I'm going to do in here, we're going to create an extra bracket. Extra second bracket, and we're going to stick round in. So we're going to round, immediately round, the Wii Remote 2 dot axes. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to add in, actually no, sorry, I'll take that back, I'm not going to round them, because I'm rounding them later. What we're going to do is we're going to Wii Remote 2 dot dot one plus Wii Remote 2 dot and then the second dot this time, so we want dot two dot x. So we're taking in both actual dots, like so, and then we're going to divide them by two, and again, we need brackets. So we're going to add them together, divide them by two to find out the average. I'm going to do this the same on here. We're going to add the Wii mote two dot dot two, this time y, and then we're going to divide that by two, and again, we need another two sets of brackets for this, like so. Now, on a point, I'm going to be using both sets of data. And I've just got a problem with it at the moment. Oops. And just going to debug out this here. This is, this is what's wonderful about this nice fact that we can actually debug, like so. Ah, and it's working this time. It just must not work the first time for some reason. It does do that sometimes. But anyway, as you can see, it's now, it's moving around. It's a lot more accurate now because we've got both points on and it's reading two sets of data constantly. And not only that, if I hold it steady, you can see it's slightly more sturdy. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to make it even more sturdy. And you can actually do this by using some of the statements. I'm actually not going to just stick them into this. Basically, if you have a look at smooth, I might as well show you how to smooth. I'm just going to stick some data in at the end. Oops. Like so. That's going to smooth off one of the values. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. Basically, smooth takes in the last three in this case because the last three because um, I put the letter th the number three at the end so the way that it works is you work smooth you put in your data then you put in a comma then you put in a number that number will take the last three captures of that data and they give you an average so it'll get the data three times running and once it's got it three times it'll average it out and oops it's actually just minimized Ah, glove pies just crashed on me there, but as you can see, we had a bait. We had a very much. We had a working um, model of an infrared pointer, and all we had to do now was, after that's finished, that cursor would be nice and smooth. All we'd have to do is then go and incorporate button presses, and we'd do that in the same way that we've done everything else. We'd just go mouse dot left click or left button equals, and then we'd go we remote two dots and if we wanted it to be the A button we'd use the A button or if we wanted it to be a B button we'd use the B button and we could inc incorporate uh, on-screen cursor and that's really all I'm going to show you in this tutorial.